Hey, it's Aaron the Ho from MobileReviewsA.C and today we are gonna take a closer look at one of the best things, or in my opinion, one of the best things that Apple has done with their iOS platform as well as their OS X platform and that is air being able to airdrop between this device and a Yosemite Mac. Before you were able to easily airdrop between iOS devices, you could airdrop between uh, Macs, but now this is the first time ever that you could go from an iOS device to a Yosemite Mac. I know it seems weird that they took this long to get to this point. So we're going to take the next few minutes. I'm going to quickly show you how to do it. And like I shoot a lot of videos for this channel. So being able to move stuff from my iPhone to my Mac without using any wires, it's, it's literally saves me like five to 10 minutes a day, which is not much, but it adds up. It's like an hour a week. It's awesome. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, eh? So here's the setup. We've got an iPhone 6 Plus. We've got a Mac with Yosemite on it. First thing you want to do is to enable Yosem or enable AirDrop on your iOS device. Uh, you got off contacts only. Everyone off is off. Contacts only means it only finds people that are in your contact list. And everyone is basically anybody who has a Mac and is well, AirDrop enabled on your Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to choose everyone. Uh, you have the same sort of functions on, or same sort of options on your Mac. You've got no one contacts only and everyone. I'm going to leave it on contacts because, well, it's going to work. So let's say we've got a photo. I'm going to pick this photo and I'm going to share it. And it just found me right here. This is the airdrop section. I click myself. It's sending. And if you couldn't hear it, it made that copying noise. And so on my, in my downloads, there's that image that I just sent from my Mac to, or from my iPhone to my Mac. Pretty handy. So how about sending multiple things from multiple devices? We've got, you know, a bunch of photos selected on our iPhone 6 Plus in the photo app. This is Adobe Ideas. I'm going to make some awesome thumb art and then I'm going to share it. And it gives me the ability to send it through AirDrop as well. So I am going to send two things at once. Send. Send. I got two notifications and let's see what kind of goodies that we got. We got all these in Scipio photos and then we've got my awesome thumb art. So it's very, this is a great feature. I'm a big fan of being able to send stuff quickly between um, my OS devices to my Mac without any wires. That's awesome. But how about going from my Mac to the iPhone? And I've got here a numbers spreadsheet. I'm going to send a copy. I'm going to do it through AirDrop. And I'm going to send the actual numbers version. And well, it's found me already. I click on myself. And there's a notification saying that Aaron's going to send you a spreadsheet. Awesome. Yay. Spreadsheet's been sent. So it's very, very easy. There's no wires involved. Again, which is great. I don't really like wires. So, eh. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. If there's other things that you want me to take a look at or you found very useful between, um, you know, iOS 8 and the Mac, uh, leave them in the comments section below and I'll see what I can do. I'm trying to film more of these uh, tips and tricks videos because again, like I'm saving five to 10 minutes a day. Maybe somebody else will be saving like half an hour because they use their iPhone 6 so much. I don't know. If this is the first time you're watching one of our videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. We make videos, lots of them, two to three times a week at least. Product reviews, tips and tricks, as well as news. Again, thank you for watching.